Good morning. It is Thursday. We have gotten up kind of slow today. It's already 8.30. We are cooking breakfast today on the menu. They are having eggs, toast, and juice. I have these that I printed from the militarywifelife.com. I just laminated them with my laminator. I can link my laminator below. I love it. This is breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And today is the eighth, so they're having eggs, toast, and juice. For lunch, they're gonna have, we are gonna have quesadillas. And then I'm trying this. I'm pretty sure it is a Six Sisters meal, the Instapot creamy shells and beef. We don't have a lot on our schedule today. We have literature class on Thursdays, and we lost internet yesterday for a couple of hours, and so the kids weren't able to get on and type up their answers. So we will frantically be doing that this morning and get that turned in prior to their class. Yesterday, I also loaded up all the kids, and except Ezra, he was here with his nurse, and we were gonna go into town to do some spring summer clothes shopping. And we got down the country road and it was so stuffy. It was 80 degrees outside. Our air conditioner in our big bus stopped working and the engine light was on. So it was kind of a bummer. We were gone about 15 minutes and then came home. And our bus is now in the shop. There was a part, a sensor that had to be ordered that won't be in until Friday. So, we have multiple cars here. We have a minivan that has a wheelchair ramp in it, um, but it only seats four people. And then my Evelyn got a new car that she's gonna take to college in the fall, and it only seats five. So I think today, because my boys work on the weekend, if all goes according to plan after lunch, and when we get Ezra back in his chair, we don't have a day nurse on Thursdays, I will take the boys to go look for some clothing today. And then over the weekend, I can take the girls when the boys are at work. So we're gonna do breakfast. I did not do dishes last night. Um, we stayed out on the front porch for a long time. Evan was in a swimming pool, like a little plastic pool. And the day kind of got away from, or the night got away from us. So we're gonna get this cleaned up, have breakfast, and then do some literature. have a day nurse on Thursday. There is a home health nursing lighting. Home health nursing shortage. And not just in Texas, across the nation. I am a part of some special needs boards on Facebook and that's been a constant problem across the United States. I know with COVID, it's easier and more financially beneficial for a nurse to work in a hospital setting because there's more opportunities. Um, but those of us that require home health to help, here, Edge, are you gonna show him what you're eating? No, now you're, he's gonna show up now. 
So we have a day nurse Sunday through Wednesday. Ezra through Medicaid qualifies. This is a recent, um, his hours have recently been up, but he does now have 24 hour coverage. Can y'all turn Ezra Evans earbuds on please? So Thursdays, we get the joy and privilege of taking care of our Ezra. He has been in his wheelchair since about 7.30 this morning. And we do no longer than three hours in the chair so he doesn't get any sort of sore or anything. So we'll do some floor time. We'll just move him back in there then so we're not distracted by Evan is on his iPad this morning and his favorite thing right now is sort of like kids bop where it's these preteen girls singing little pop songs and while he loves it it drives all of us a little bit nuts as a constant background <laughs> noise. Ezra's actually eating really well for me. Usually he the first few bites he'll kind of fight. It's like a sensory thing where he wants to make sure you're not putting anything that he doesn't want. I'll let you see him for a minute. So this is blueberry, banana, I don't know, it's one of the purple Gerber stage twos. So we've shared about Ezra's speaker in the last few videos, our special needs unboxing. So Brian made Ezra this little bracelet out of these cords to keep his speaker hooked onto him. If the battery dies or he gets frustrated, he just launches his speaker. We have ordered a new vest through Medicaid for his wheelchair, but it is taking a very long time. My helper. Are you done? <clears throat> Are you all done? There we go. I think we have about two more bites. We've got Peppa Pig going. As we're sitting here in front of it, just kind of chilling out. We've got Paris on Evan's little recliner. We've got all our stuffy babies going. We've got just a couple more bites. As Evan, why are you saying uh-oh? What happened? As we go see what happened to his show. Oh wait, there it is, that was working. Try to scrape the last of this. Good job, Ezra. We have two more bites. One. Whoop. Last bite. Two. Our speech therapist just brought us these new spoons and they are really nice. It says, it's upside down. I can't read this. Well, I can't read what that is. I'll have to look and I can link that. So Ezra's gonna hang for about another hour, just hanging out and then we're gonna put him down on the ground for some tummy time. Can you say bye, Ezra? Can you say bye? Oh. Goodness. It is almost noon. We are pausing for lunch. Today, I showed you earlier, we are having um, quesadillas for lunch. So I, at the beginning of the month, 
don't know if you can see this. This is grilled chicken and it's cooked with uh, McCormick's kicking, or actually it's Weber. It's this kicking chicken seasoning. It's spicy and yummy. So I'm just going to dump these into this skillet. They're, heat, they're cooked all the way through and just let them kind of thaw and warm up that way and then we'll slice them for the quesadillas. We have some cilantro, one jalapeno, pretty much every color of bell pepper, some black beans and tortillas. And then this, we're gonna cut it, open this up, the Montreal Jack cheese. This was the first month I was able to find that big bag at Sam's. And Brian and I are gonna have all of this in salad form. So we put Ezra in on the floor at about 10.30. It's now 10, 12.20. So when he's, when we're finished with lunch, we're gonna get him in his chair. And I mentioned earlier we did not have a nurse, so Brian will come inside here and work on his computer in here. And I'll have the big girls in here to help feed Ezra and everything. He's just gonna be in here in case they need him and I'm gonna take the boys after lunch to look for some spring summer clothes. Our boys have had just a huge growth spurt. They're all now in men's clothing. So it's hard when it, with COVID, most, I think most places you still can't try things on. So part of the pants, I guess they really won't need pants, but shorts is you can't try them on. So we'll see how that goes. We, I've got three of my big boys with me. They may or may not choose to hide. Here's Isaiah. We went to Atwoods to get some dog food. I think I mentioned I canceled our Chewy's order. And then we went to Goodwill and now we're at like a big shopping, outdoor shopping center. We're going to get the boys some clothes just ran into Dollar Tree. No one lets you use the restroom because of COVID. So we had to walk down a couple stores first. They got a big soda and I guess needed to go to the bathroom. So it's kind of the frustrating part about this pandemic. So they're in there. I did buy some wrapping paper for Emma's baby shower. So that was good. So I'm just waiting on them and then we're gonna go into Ross and hopefully find some things. The boys and I went out shopping and we just got home. We got them some clothes. They still need a couple things, but we'll probably just order that online. I realized in my amazing planning that I planned an Instapot meal while I was using my Instapot for yogurt. So I just kind of followed the directions and I just boiled the noodles separately and I, it's still that same. I'll link it below the Six Sisters creamy pasta. It looks really yummy. I wish I could taste it. And this is an entire bag of fresh green beans from Sam's Club from the beginning of the month. And here's my sad little plate. I'm just having grilled chicken left over from lunch with some green beans. However, my boys and I went to something called, oh gosh, Bliss, Baked Bliss here um, in Waco in a town close to us. And these treats here, look at this, are gluten free. This cranberry, no, I guess cranberry no, orange. Scone, this cranberry orange scone is super yummy. So while we're watching our current show that Brian and I are watching is Alias, while we're watching Alias tonight, I'm gonna have this. And then this is a little shortbread cookie. So I don't know if we will video any more tonight. We, this is our last night of a night nurse until Tuesday night. So we're probably gonna close up shop quickly after dinner, take showers, try to get in as much rest as we can. There's a thunderstorm that looks like it's coming. So it's good. Let me show you little Evan. I found these little, we went to Ross 
Dollar Tree and Marshall. And he's loving Peppa Pig. So we are watching Peppa Pig. Evan, can you show them your new Peppa Pig toys? Yeah. Yeah, do you love them? Oh, show them in your hand. Which is your new one? Let me see. Uh-oh, uh -oh. mommy can still see it. I can still see you. Do you love your Peppa Pig toys? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Look at them, look how cute they are, aren't they darling? Okay, we're about to get Ezra off the floor for the last time of the day. And that's about it. We are really enjoying chatting with you in the comments. They just opened up our community. What's it called, honey? I don't even know what it's called. What is it called, the little community tab? Good job. They're looking at me like I'm crazy. Y'all look at this hair. Oh my gosh, you gotta edit all this, this crazy talk out. So we've enjoyed chatting with you in the <laughs> Oh, He's saying that my craziness is the best part, so we'll see. I don't edit at all, so it's kind of a surprise to me what gets left in. So I'll try this again. We have enjoyed chatting with you in the comments and they opened up the community tab for us. I have no idea what that means. I've never really spent a lot of time on a community tab on a vlog, but my understanding is that it's a place we can chat some more. So we will see you over in the comments. If we can pray for you, we would love to do that. You could email us or leave a comment below. But we're gonna go enjoy this dinner and get rested up for another day. Thanks for watching.